In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can import data into your MySQL database table. So let's assume you've already logged on to Secure Shell. The first thing we've got to do is to connect to the database using the MySQL interactive prompt. And I'm also going to specify the name of the database when I log in. Now I've logged in, we're going to look at the table that I've already created. And as you can see, I have an ID field title and an author and the key point here is the ID field has an auto increment primary key so I haven't got the specified in my data. I'm going to exit from the database and I'm going to create my data to import. So I'm going to create three records to start with just to make sure it's working. Now the first column is auto increment, so I do not specify an ID, but I have to specify that there's an ID column. So I use a null to specify that the database will automatically create the ID value. Now once I've created the database, the data for the database table, notice that I haven't got any spaces after the commas and I haven't pressed enter at the end because if I press enter to create a new line, it will try and insert an extra blank record at the end. I save, control zero, control O, and I exit, control then X. And now if I type in LS, you can see that I have my books.csv a text file. I now log back into MySQL and I can use the arrow keys, the up arrow, to go through my history. My final job is to load the data from my text file, my CSV file, into my database table. My database table is called Books, as we saw before. and my data file is books.csv so I have to issue one SQL command to import all the data. So I specify my text file my database table name my field separator, which in our case is a comma, and a new line character as the separator for each of the records. And it says three rows affected three records. So if I now type in a simple select statement, you'll see that the records have been inserted. And for some reason there's an extra record at the start, so I shall delete that one. And 
Now let's have a look at the database. And all the data is now imported. 